We have a big question from Dave from Why Not North Carolina wants to know injured quarterbacks, Andrew Luck, Deshaun Watson, Carson Wentz, how are you valuing them in drafts this year? Well, it's a lot different with Watson and Wentz. I mean, they were fantastic last season. There's knee injury, normal recovery from knee injuries. But Luck didn't play at all last year with right. the shoulder, and he's had the shoulder problem for years. So I'm concerned about Luck. I wouldn't even draft him in a 10-team league. Wow. Okay, so if you were going to draft either Carson Wentz or Deshaun Watson, which one would you take first? They're both in my top five. I have Watson a little bit ahead, a little bit more upside there, uses his legs a little bit more, and he had a longer recovery period. Sure. Both are going to be great. Big question here from Phyllis from Bacon Level, Alabama. When is the right time to take a quarterback this year? Uh, not in the first 10 rounds. No. Aaron Rodgers is great, Tom Brady, but you can wait. Breeze, Garoppolo, Cousins, Stafford of the Lions, they're all available in round 10 or later. Wait for these guys until the end, middle of your draft, and you can even get a second quarterback after that if you really need. I was going to say, a lot of depth at this position. Are you an advocate of taking two quarterbacks in a 10-team league, or are you just rolling with one? I'm rolling with one, and then when the bye week comes, there's always another quarterback out there that can help you for one week. I mean, Blake Bortles for one week, that's okay. Sure. One week of Blake Bortles is not that bad. Zed from Zap, North Dakota asks, should I draft a quarterback and a wide receiver from the same offense? I am a proponent of stacking, but I wouldn't force it. You want to have a good offense, one that you're confident will produce every week, like what I expect out of the Houston Texans this year. Um, I've got a couple of teams with Deshaun Watson and either DeAndre Hopkins or Will Fuller on them. Okay, so we're looking at that for high-flying offenses that are going to score a lot of points. Stacking is not a bad decision. No, it is not a bad decision. I think your advice stacks up well against the competition, Andre. Sammy from Greasy Corner, Arkansas writes, Hi, Daniel. Love the fantasy show. Thank you. I love the fantasy show, too. Wish we saw more of you and less of the other guy. Oh, well. My problem is every year there are top running backs who burst onto the scene, and I never seem to get them. Help me. Who are the early round backs I should be worried about this season? Yeah, I think there's two guys that really jump out to me. We'll go with Jarek McKinnon going in the second round of drafts right now. That's way too early. This guy is bottom five in the NFL in yards per carry and yards after contact per attempt. I know he's going to a great situation with Kyle Shanahan calling the plays out there. He's done good things for Steve Slayton. Remember him? Yeah. Alfred Morse. Remember him? Yeah. Devonta Freeman, Carlos Hyde. They've all been great, but the efficiency, a big concern for McKinnon. Another guy is going in the fifth round right now. How about Lamar Miller? Yeah. The past two seasons, his efficiency has been poor. Bottom five in yards per carry and yards after contact as well, just like McKinnon. And, oh, yeah, the last three weeks of the season last year, he had about half the carries of some guy you may have heard of named Alfred Blue. That's a red flag for me. Speaking of suspensions, we have a question here from William from Money, Mississippi. I'm not sure how to value suspended players in a draft. Can you help me? There's great value, and we can help you. Guys like Mark Ingram, Aaron Jones, they're slipping in drafts, and they yep. really shouldn't be. I mean, Ingram was the number six running back last season. He's going in the seventh round now. Just wait four weeks. because Nobody's really injured. Five weeks don't start to week four. You can wait for Ingram and Aaron Jones. I don't know about quarterbacks, but running back and wide receiver, wait. Absolutely. And Julian Edelman, someone also has a four-game suspension with Tom Brady. Once he gets back, what do you think? He'll be a top... 25? Top I think 20 wide potentially a top 20 wide receiver. And if you can wait until like round six or seven, that's around the right time to get these guys. That's a great value. Here's a question from Sammy in Smackover, Arkansas. What is the best strategy for identifying a sleeper? You're going to want to look for two things, opportunity and improved team situation. Okay. So take a guy like Rashad Penny in Seattle. He's going to have a lot of opportunity this year for a team that really likes to run. Or a guy like Joe Mixon in Cincinnati, he's playing for the team that just revamped their entire offensive line this offseason. Both of those are situations you want to look for. Absolutely. And I thought it was the sleeping bag and pillow that gave it away. This is why you're the expert, Andre.